Shoots and ladders? Now that's what I call a bargain. Hello? Welcome to Gunner Steel's Toy Store for Children. A legitimate business. What can I do you for? <clears throat> Hello, local business owner. Um, can you spare a few minutes for sweat? You coming out to me? This ain't that type of toy store. Uh, just a second. I ain't saying no. I'm just saying if you're looking for something kinkier than a doll that wets itself, you're out of luck. No, 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 sweat's the organization I'm with. Stop waterfront erosion today. Oh, never heard of them. Oh, we're an environmental group. Did you know that due to climate change, Distant Falls' waterfront district is in danger of being completely underwater in as little as 10 years? Sure. You do? Oh, sure. If I were a betting man, and I am, I'd say less than 10. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I can skip to the end. You taking that bet? I'll give you three to one. What? No. Doesn't it bother you that your store might not be around for the next generation to enjoy? What do I care about the next generation? You run a store for children. But by the next generation, they'll all be adults. I guess you're right. Oh darn, now I lost my place in the script. Just cut to the grip, kid. How much cabbage are you looking for? Oh, I just ate an enormous dandelion sandwich. But thank you. Moolah. Bones. Cheddar. Are you doing word association? Money, kid. Money! How much are you trying to shake me down for? Any amount you could donate would be super, but today I'm spreading awareness. Except you are already aware and don't seem to care much. My sweat script doesn't cover that. Well, darn, this is hard, and you're only the first local business owner I've been able to reach all day. You've been calling around, huh? I've been going door to door, but so many waterfront businesses are closed. They all have uh, uh, under new ownership signs in the window, and also something that looks like blood smears. What a funny observation for which there is probably a perfectly reasonable explanation that you should ignore. You're probably right. Anyway, I thought that if I called some stores instead, I might have more luck, but I guess not. Sorry, kid. Say, you look kind of familiar. I've been on the local news a few times. I get arrested a lot. Hey, me too. Really? For protesting? Sure, why not? But that ain't it. Your face looks familiar. What's your name? Elvin, Elvin Salt. Salt, that's it. You're Vivian Salt's kid. You know mother? Oh, sure. Back in the day, I knew her inside and out. And inside and out. And inside and out. And then we take a break, get some water, and then we know each other inside and out again. I understood that, but I'm gonna pretend I didn't. How long ago did this happen? How old are you? 24. 24 years and nine months ago. What a fun coincidence. Hey kid, I gotta get going. I'm meeting with the jewelry store owner down the street. Oh, could you pass along the message about sweat? Oh, I'll be passing along a message, all right. And there'll be plenty of sweat. Thanks. It was great to meet you, Gunner. I'll say hello to mother for you. You do that, kid. And uh, call back again soon. Maybe we could uh, get to know each other or something. Are, are you coming on to me now? I'm flattered, but I'm not really dating. No, no, most definitely not. Please take my previous misunderstanding on the subject and put it in solitary confinement inside your noggin, never to be spoken of again. Wow, harsh and, and a little hurtful, but clear. Sorry, kid. And hey, good for you on this whole environment kick. You grew up to be a mighty swell person. I'm real proud of you. What an odd but nice thing for a complete stranger to say. <laughs> well, not a complete stranger. He was dating mother nine months before. Oh. All right, Audrey, you have my attention. Tell me why you think your father murdered my sister. Before you begin, let me warn you, I'm prepared to fully believe even the tiniest shred of evidence. No, I don't think that my father murdered my mother. I just think he had something to do with her death. I fail to see the distinction. 
I think he's lying about the night that she died. I saw her that morning and she was fine. If she had been bleeding from a toenail puncture wound inside of her uterus for 18 years, don't you think she would have felt something before it killed her? The doctor told me that the blood had backed up inside her womb, undetected, until it suddenly burst like an overfed tick. Gross. It's unusual, I'll grant you, but overly dramatic deaths do run in the Salt family. Your great-great-grandfather, Ivory Salt, once made a self-deprecating joke, challenged himself to a duel over his slighted honor, and lost. Your great-aunt Abundance suffocated at a poorly timed garden party. She was allergic to out-of-season flowers. So it simply never occurred to me that Angela's death could be the result of foul play. Do you have any proof that Edwin was involved? Uh, I've been investigating for weeks. I checked Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. I even looked at Tumblr, and I just haven't been able to find anything about her death. Have you tried any other avenues? What do you mean? Have you looked anywhere besides social media? I don't understand. Not everything that's important is on Instagram, Audrey. See, I heard Instagram in my name, but I didn't get what you said before that. When you asked for my help, did you mean for me to do everything entirely on my own? Oh my god, thank you so much, Aunt Vivian. I'll be at the Boozy Bungalow tonight with my friends if you find anything. It's two for one bucket shots till ten. No, Audrey. If you want my help, you're going to have to pull your own weight. Tonight, leave the front gate open. Turn off the security system. Flash your bedroom light once Edwin is asleep. Then, meet me in the entrance hall with a roll of duct tape and a sock full of quarters. No, we're not beating my father with a sock full of quarters. No, no, the, the quarters are for me. I need to do laundry quite badly. Any blunt instrument will do to loosen your father's tongue. Wealthy people have bones like porcelain. We're not breaking my father's bones, Aunt Vivian. Well, we could cut him with broken glass if you prefer. My mattress is stuffed with it. I have plenty at hand. No, you're not. Wait, why is your mattress stuffed with broken glass? Pardon me for not being able to afford goose feathers, your royal highness. Now, are we torturing your father tonight or aren't we? No, we're not hurting daddy. How do you expect to destroy him without hurting him? I don't want to destroy him, Aunt Vivian. I just want him to tell me the truth about my mother. I'm sorry, Audrey. We seem to be at an impasse. I don't believe we can help each other in this. Yeah, no kidding. Thanks for nothing, Aunt Vivian. I'll just figure out the truth about my mother by myself. And thank you, dear niece, for opening my eyes. Your father lied about my sister's death. All of his stolen millions will protect him from my wrath. Griffin, you there? I'm here, Gabby. I'm downstairs organizing the stock room like you told me. How's it going? Oh, terrific. I'm almost done with all the filing. Filing? I asked you to organize the cases of liquor. That's what I'm doing. Now you'll be able to find them easy under A for alcohol. That sounds really helpful, Griffin. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Gabby. <sighs> that boy has a college degree. Hello, Stockhart's Tap House. Gabby Stockhart speaking. How can I help you? Yeah, hi, do you deliver? Sorry, no, we don't. Uh... You know what? Sure, sure, we can deliver. What would you like? I'll have a small kale salad and can I get the dried cranberries on the side? Oh, this is a bar. We, we really only have pub food. That's fine. Just put your least unhealthy entree in a blender and I'll drink it over the next couple of days. Okay, Turkey Club Smoothie. Got it. What's the name? Audrey with a G. Audrey with a G. It's actually two G's, but they're not together. Sorry, where do the G's go? One's after the W and one's after the Y. Uh, maybe you could spell that for me. A-U-W-G-H-D-R-A-I-Y-G-H-E. A U. W? Ugh, Audrey. A-U-W-G-H-D-R-A-I-Y-G-H-E. Misspelling someone's name is an act of violence. If my name is wrong in the receipt, I'm not paying. No, no. I think I got it. Uh, where's it going? 
We're actually too rich to have a street address, but do you know where the Sunderman Mansion is? Sunderman? Oh, geez. You're Audrey Sunderman? Yeah, do I know you? You don't look familiar, but I do meet a lot of bartenders. Uh, no, no, we don't know each other. I know who you are from... Uh, oh, uh, do you follow me? Yes, yes, that's it. I follow you on um, uh, Instagram. Yeah, that's where I'm most active. I also have a YouTube channel. You should subscribe to it. I post videos of my bathroom being clean and people find it really aspirational. Ah, I'll, I'll be sure to check it out. So like, do you need my card or something? Uh, you know, it's on the house. Don't, don't even worry about it. Oh, I love not paying for things. Hey, uh, um, I'm sorry, by the way, uh, about your mom. My mom? About her death. My condolences. That was four years ago. Why is a random takeout person bringing up the most traumatic event of my otherwise perfect life? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. How do you even know that she died? From, uh, Instagram? No, I've never posted about my mother's stuff on Instagram. Well, uh, I must have read it in the news then. You know, you and your father are kind of a big deal around here. That's true. I am the only interesting person in this town, so thanks, I guess. Sure. Uh, I'll get the smoothie right out to you. Wait, if you follow me on Instagram, why didn't you recognize my name when I spelled it? Uh, well, yeah, I, f I follow a lot of Audrey's with two G's. No, Daddy trademarked my name when I was four, and I'm the only one. You didn't recognize who I was until I said my last name. Well, sorry, somebody just walked in the bar. Like you've never read it before, but you've heard it. They got a, they got a gun. Oh, oh my God, I'll call 911. No, 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 it's not a gun. <laughs> my mistake, it's a fire. A uh, very small fire, so no need to dial 911, but, but I, but I got to get some water. Your order's on the way. Thank you, and come, come, come again. I'm so sorry, Audrey. So, so sorry.